Latest on tropical storms, soon to be Hurricane Aletta, we expect, because it's got 70 mile an hour winds and a pressure of 991 millibars and is expected to become a hurricane later today. It's currently at 15.3 north, 109.3 west. No warnings are in effect and the storm is gradually moving out to sea. Um, right now it's not too far away from the Mexican coastline, could deliver some small or maybe moderate amounts of rain. Uh, but wind, as you can see, the wind field still well off the shore and that will remain the case for the next few days. It moves towards the west northwest and eventually maybe a curve towards the northwest as well um, before gradually weakening and then eventually dying out. You can see another system behind it which could go closer to the coast of Mexico that we will be watching in the next week. That's likely to be our next named storm. So at 8 a.m. PDT June 7th, here it is right now um, in relation to land and there's its wind field, so a pretty small one actually. It's a stage 3 on the CDPS, which means that significant damage would be possible if it was affecting any land areas, but as we know, it currently is not. So looking at the broader picture then, as we enter the next five or six days, you can see how the storm progresses towards the west-northwest, the cloud coverage builds. Um, low chance of significant winds but then you can also see the formation of this next system behind it which could deliver some significant rainfall to the coast of Mexico that is a little bit more of an uncertainty as time goes on during the early part of next week you can see a letter dying off to the left hand side of your screen and this next storm really taking a center stage so that's what we're looking at in the extended um, term but for a letter uh, it's pretty much the dress rehearsal for what may be coming up later this season Temperatures right now pretty warm, 28 or 29 degrees. The further northwest the letter goes, the colder SSTs will get. Same for wind shear too in terms of favorability. It's going to get very unfavorable if it continues going too far to the northwest. Uh, but right now it is in a favorable environment and some more intensification is possible for 24 maybe to 48 hours before weakening begins. This is how it's been presented this morning as day has broken in the last hour or so and you can see how a letter has been developing this is the infrared views now um, not quite an eye just yet there is a big sizable gap in the eastern side but it might close that off in the next 12 hours and then we'd certainly see significant hurricane conditions uh, inside that storm and possibly strengthening beyond category one we'll wait and see it also depends on that dry air look at it copious amounts to the western side of the storm but at the moment being shielded a little bit by that band that it's got to the west you can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page under the same name, and we're also on Twitter. It's at Force 13 if you'd like to get in touch or follow our page there. This week, Force 13 also launched a new Patreon page. If you'd like to consider helping the project out, supporting it, uh, as it goes even bigger and better, as Alex Zaragoza and Hank Dulce has done so far, please consider it. Take a look at the page. All contributions are invested straight back into the project. All of our letter updates are in partnership with Hypercyclone X, a Mexican Facebook page, and uh, they're providing regular updates on this storm in English and in Spanish. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for Tropical Weather Chat.